we have the high level languages high level languages are those which are going to have the set of instructions which are similar to something uh, the human language like english every language is going to have certain grammatical rules that we need to follow in order to frame meaningful statements so in the same manner we have to follow the programming rules in order to write the instructions so due to which it makes it uh, makes the program more, uh, more ease to write the programs and identify and uh, correct the errors if any things occurs some of the high level programming languages are like java c++ c# and many more so as these these are the programming languages which are which are very much similar to the human languages so we are going to have to store large amount of library informations and programming rules and certain constraints of the language due to which uh, we need high level compa high level translators uh, which are which is going to translate the his high level codes into something a machine can understand that is into low level codes so the translators are like the compilers and interpreters and high level programming languages are more advantages something like reliability portability easy debugging and ease in developing the softwares reliability the programs that are written in high level languages uh, high level language are more reliable than that those written in assembly or else machine language portability high level programming languages can be run on different machines with a little or no changes uh, on any other machine and it is these language codes are very easy debugging that is errors can be easily detected and removed and it is in the ease in development of the softwares that is since the commands of these programming languages are very much closer to the english language the softwares can be developed with much more easier let's consider an example i'm going to consider a mathematical expression which even a high level language follows here c is equal to a plus b in this instruction or expression we have a b c which are actually named memory locations which are going to contain certain data items and what exactly this expression indicates us this expression simulates us that the content of memory a and the content of memory b are going to be first added up and the result obtained is going to be stored into the memory content of c that is what this uh, expression resembles let us see how exactly it is going to be notated in assembly language where we are going to use certain mnemonic codes symbols let us see here you can see in the in in the instruction we have move which is a symbol which is a mnemonic and this resembles the memory content of a and r1 is a register 1 so here we are going to move the content of a uh, memory content of a into register r1 and next and we are going to move the content of memory memory content of b into register r2 now we have r1 and r2 which are the which are the values of a and b and now we can add up these two contents for which i am going to use a mnemonic code known as add so the content of r2 and r1 are added up and the result is stored into register r1 itself but we need to store the result into memory content of c so we need to move r1 content into memory content of c so this is how an assembly code is going to be there so simple high level expression is been much more complicated in an assembly code so it is much difficult to write assembly language informations and this is going to be further translated into machine language which is completely into zeros and ones this every symbol in the assembly code is going to have its respective binary value so the translation would be in this manner so every every line of assembly code is translated into zeros and ones so this is how the high level assembly and machine languages are going to be present with the computer languages hope you have understood well uh, see you in the next lecture thank you